team. Yes, they did make it to six straight East Finals, win a title, make it to the finals, but they lost the last three. And ultimately, they're changing their philosophy, they're changing their style of play. And they've done it with a few coaches. They've done it with Larry Brown. They've done it with Rick Carlisle. They've done it with Flip Saunders. Under Michael Curry, he wants to run more. Right now, the Detroit Pistons are leading the league in scoring. You add Allen Iverson with Rip Hamilton. These are two 20-plus point scorers on a consistent basis. And also, look at the point guards in the Eastern Conference. Right now, I feel the best point guards in the East are probably Andre Miller, Jose Calderon, and maybe John Rondo. In a seven-game series, I like Allen Iverson going against those guys because the teams that they got eliminated by the last three years were the Miami Heat, Jason Williams. Then, Booby Gibson played pretty well with the Cleveland Cavaliers. And last year, obviously, they lost to the Boston Celtics where John Rondo went wild. I like Allen Iverson in that mix, but ultimately, they rebuild, yet get under the salary cap for a few for the next year or two, and still be competitive right now where they can still come out of the East. Yeah, I, I think the cap space is critical. Yep. But I, I think the thing, though, with Allen Iverson, you got to remember, he only plays one way. And those guys are going to have to adjust to him because he's not going to be a guy that's going to blend in, fit in. The things that he says, I know he wants that to be the case. Once he gets out there, he only knows one way to play. He looks for every crack and seam every time he gets the ball, and you better learn how to play off of him. That's the biggest adjustment for everybody on that roster. He needs the ball in his hands. Absolutely. He's not, he's not ever going to be a guy that plays well without the ball. And that's to, the, to him, that's not selfish. That's just the way that's, he plays and that's, There's nothing wrong with that. It's got right. 24,000 points. I think that's <laughs> done, done pretty well with that. The third highest scoring average in NBA yeah. history. So yeah. He's going to get buckets. Oh, he's headed to the Hall of Fame, and now he's headed to Detroit. We'll find out how this plays out the next six months or so.